fresh update on Nam the Kano's Britain citizenship rights protection as the United Kingdom Commission in Nigeria made efforts to reach out to the Nigerian government. But this happened. The Nigerian's Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has rejected the move by the United Kingdom High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Niang, to discuss the arrest of Nam de Kano. Nam de Kano, who is the, uh, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and also a British citizen, is being held by the Nigerian government after he was arrested somewhere in Kenya and repatriated back to Nigeria to continue trial. He was mostly in the United Kingdom from where he runs the Radio Biafra. IPOP's Radio Biafra, with which he often engages in calls for the establishment of Biafra, is located in the United Kingdom. Recall that Namdekano was reportedly rearrested in Kenya and extradited back to Nigeria last Sunday, according to the press release that was issued by the Nigerian government. He was then arraigned before Justice Bintanyaku, who ordered his remand in the custody of the DSS until his next trial date, which has been slated for the 26th and 27th of July, 2021. Dean Hullock, a spokesperson of the British High Commission, had earlier told the cable that the UK is in the process of seeking clarification from the federal government regarding his arrest. But moves by the United Kingdom to weigh in on the matter hit a brick wall when Malami hoisted Lang in Abuja. According to the cable, Katrina Liang raised the issue of Namdekano's arrest, but the minister quickly rebuffed her. A source familiar with the matter said he told Lang that the matter was not part of the agenda and we are not going to discuss it. There is little official information about Namdekano's arrest other than Malami's statement that the IPOB leader was intercepted through the collaborative efforts of Nigerian intelligence and security services. Other highlights of the meeting between Malami and Katrina Liang, according to Umar Gwandu, the minister's spokesman, was the former's inter insistence that Nigeria was right to ban Twitter. According to the um, Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, the nation's interest is paramount above other considerations. The minister added that any company operating in Nigeria must understand this and respect the nation's interests. If you want to operate as a business entity in Nigeria, you must do so within the context of Nigerian laws. Nothing offensive or that preaches the Nigerian laws should be entertained, he said. The minister and his quest discussed bilateral issues on asset recovery, anti-corruption crusade, amendment of the Electoral Act, the Audit Bill, the Petroleum Industry Bill, Twitter ban, and the counter-terrorism. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Namdekano would have been hoping that his citizenship uh, of the Britain, of the United Kingdom, would help him in this particular trial and uh, he is facing with the Nigerian government. But from the look of things, the Nigerian government has actually rebuffed him and um, they are trying to ensure that no international interference on the issue. And uh, when the United Kingdom High Commissioner Katrina Liang raised the issue according to information that we have received so far. The Attorney General of the Federation and uh, the Minister of Justice decided to rebuff the UK High Commissioner, insisting that it was not part of the agenda and Namdekano's matter would not be discussed. It remains to be seen if the United Kingdom uh, would make another uh, move on this particular issue. But for now, the issue has been uh, rebuffed by the Nigerian government as they are not interested 
in discussing Namdi Kano with any government or any international body as it is. They are insisting on continuing with what they have, the agenda that they actually have on Namdi Kano, which to a very large extent would, ha would be to have him remanded in custody. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. His next trial would be on the 26th or 27th of July. And uh, from the look of things, you know, it might just um, linger on or it probably may not, depending on how things eventually pan out or turns out. The further information that was coming from Nambikano's camp, you know, states that um, the man is in a very, very worsening situation health-wise as his health has deteriorated according to the several tortures that he allegedly received from the Kenyan uh, the Nigerian authorities and as well the Kenyan authorities, according to information. And um, his lawyers revealed this just yesterday when they were given the permission to meet with him. Well, guys, it is what it is. That is a very, very serious situation as it is. Don't forget that um, the federal government has also declared Sunday who wanted. And um, from the look of things, he is on the run. He probably might be on the run, although he has claimed that he's in his house, that um, he ha he's not going anywhere. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular situation and what would eventually happen at the end of the day. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? What are your thoughts concerning this situation? With the way things are going, do you feel that this nation will still remain one? Or do you feel that the nation would with whether the situation, whether the storm, and uh, come to a logical conclusion and uh, achieve things? I don't know. We keep our fingers crossed. It's a very, very serious situation. It's delicate. And uh, we just have to watch out for what is going to happen. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, guys? With the way things are going, we probably might just be in for a longer drama on this case than imagined. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Now that the UK has been uh, shut down on Namdekano, it will be expected that the UK would have to go back to the drawing board and find a way they can come in again. Will this happen? Nobody is sure for now, but we we'll expect that that should happen. So we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Can you hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and to be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I will see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.